So you've already read the title of this video. I don't need a ramble on a long intro. Let's just get onto it. So I have always kind of wanted to, I've always been really interested in going vegan and like veganism and everything. And I've honestly been watching YouTube videos about like vegan recipes and I follow a lot of YouTubers that are also vegan and so it kind of inspired me and I think it got to a point a couple of weeks ago when I was watching all these videos and I was like oh yeah I could probably do it but I think it would be too hard and then I realized what I was thinking and what I was saying to myself and I just thought that's so like selfish that's honestly got nothing to do with how hard it's going to be I just need to suck it up and I need to figure it out and so I decided I was going to make a video of it so that it, one keep me to it and two maybe help some other people that are probably thinking about it and want to know what it's like I mean I've only done it for one week so I'm just going to tell you about my first week and what my thoughts are and how I'm going to continue on I guess. So right now it is Sunday and I can say that I don't feel worse than I did before. I also don't really feel much different. Like physically I feel just the same as I was the week before and I don't know if that's because my body already really didn't eat a lot of meat because I kind of ate meat every now and again during the week and I but I had dairy in that all the time. I do feel better in the sense that for the last week I know that I wasn't personally um, contributing my money or my business towards um, companies or like people or stuff that um, hurt or kill animals for either their food or their byproducts and stuff. At the start of the week went to my local supermarket and I did my big shop and in the footage you're about to see I said that it was only that I thought it was going to last me maybe two maybe three weeks and looking back at it it's honestly going to last me so much longer than that so <laughs> I'll show you that footage now okay so I just unpacked all of the groceries that I bought which is actually a lot I didn't realize how much I got because I was uh, a little bit worried at the price, it was $150 and I was like, geez, that's a lot of money, but this is honestly going to do me forever, like I'll probably have to go back and get more um, fresh produce, but all of this stuff is honestly going to last ages. All of this stuff, to my knowledge, to as much as I can find out being a first time vegan, is vegan. So, <laughs> so start off this side. First of all, I know there's not a lot of fruit and veggies because I actually have a lot of fruit and veggies here. So I got some sweet potatoes, some green beans, I got another bag of onions because we're almost out, some bananas, um, some green apples because I don't really like red apples. I bought another capsicum because I love them and I bought an avocado, bought some chia seed wraps and I have some rye bread, the Abbott's village bakery rye bread is vegan and then these rolls these are the Safeways burger rolls because I want to do some veggie burgers I got some vegan nuggets I got some savory veggie mints um, I got some bio cheese I got some curried pumpkin bites then I got some vegan eggs. I just got some um, pasta sauces because I will use that for a lot and I bought two ice creams because I couldn't decide. I bought the Over the Moon Caramel and the Weiss 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 Dairy Free Dark Chocolate because I've heard that these two are really good. So I bought some diced tomatoes. I bought two cans of those and two cans of red kidney beans because I like Mexican food. So I feel like I'll be able to make some good stuff with that. I bought these because they were on sale. And I mean, I know these are going to be my treat foods because they're not the best, but. And I bought some chickpeas. Um, then I bought some juices. I love these juices. They go down to like five for five dollars. So I get five of them because they're the best. I bought some taco seasonings for when I um, do some of my cooking. I bought some guacamole. And this one is the dairy-free one. This one was on sale. So I'm going to try this one. Um, I bought these little 
nut mix things. I bought a chocolate chip cliff bar because I hear a lot of really good things about them. But I bought some of these Carmen's Bliss Balls. Then I got some Rocky. Then up here I got some maple flavoured cashews. Then I just got some plain cashews. Then I bought this vegan, um, what's it called? A deodorant. Then I got some vegan body wash. I bought this raw sea coconut milk the chocolate one i bought one of the little tubs of the nudie coconut yogurt because i'm not sure i'm not the biggest fan of coconut that's for yogurt i just bought some long grain rice even though we did have some i had a feeling it was going to go through with a bit quicker bought some red lentils i've never eaten red lentils before like i bought some high fiber penne I bought these Carmen's Fruit and Nut Muesli Bars. found that these shapes, which are one of my favourite shapes, I can't see anything on it that's not vegan. And then obviously I had to be basic and get Oreos. So yeah, this cost me $150. Again, I might have to go back in a week and a half just to get some more fresh stuff because I go through that like really quick. But all the other stuff will probably last me weeks. So during this week, I ate a lot of things I would normally eat. Does that sound surprising? So avocados at the moment have actually been really cheap. Nearly every morning, actually, yeah, every single morning for breakfast, I had avocado toast, which made me happy because I love avocado toast and it was something that I could make vegan and make fit into this. One day for lunch I had, I made me and my brother some like chili, but obviously with no dairy or no anything like that i think one day i made pesto pasta just without parmesan i just put like basil and stuff like that um one day i think i had oh yeah one day i made some garlic bread i also one night cooked dinner for my family and so i made burgers but i made chicken burgers for everybody else and then i had veggie burgers and i put like vegan cheese and the vegan mayonnaise on it and stuff and it was really good the easiest way for me was just to find vegan versions of the things I already eat. So then there's no excuse. So on one night, on Wednesday night, day three, I actually went out for dinner with a friend because we went to go and see a movie. And I was really scared at first, but it actually ended up being pretty good. So it is currently Wednesday, day three of going vegan for a week and I'm actually really nervous because this is my first time going out to like a restaurant or something and trying to look for a vegan option. We're going to, me and my friend are going to the movies and we're going to get dinner beforehand and she's actually vegetarian. I'm not sure how long she's been vegetarian for but she also suggested to look at the menu beforehand so I looked at the menu and then we decided where we were going to go. And when I looked at the menu, I actually noticed that TGI Fridays recently added a new vegan burger and fries option. So I'm crossing my fingers that that one's at this store and not just the city ones. And I'll probably try that. If not, I read a couple of other vegetarian options that I'll probably just get without like the cheese and the sour cream and the bits like that that aren't vegan. Right, uh -huh. Can't take me anywhere. That's not bad. Good. I'm excited. Normally they're burger stats signs or is no. it just because it's a vegan burger? Yeah, I think so. Normally they're huge. So yeah, I went to TGI Fridays and I was so excited that they had the vegan burger on the menu and I can say it was really good. I actually asked them what um, like cheese and stuff they use on it because I really did like it and so I would like to try um, those brands of cheese. So on the first... I think two days I decided that I was going to take advice of a lot of the YouTubers that I had watched before starting it and that was to educate myself. So I've watched a lot of videos on like starting to become vegan and whatnot and a lot of people said the best thing to do is educate yourself, watch a lot of videos, read a lot of articles. One of the things they especially recommended was to watch some documentaries and I watched um, the documentaries What the Health and Cowspiracy and I'm probably going to sit down and watch a couple more that I've been told about soonish. So yeah, I sat down and I watched those and they were really eye-opening and I'm glad I did it and I think my advice 
to anybody that would also be looking at starting is to watch those documentaries and do a lot of research because it'll help you out. Speaking about research, sometimes, like, I don't, it, it, like, fathoms me how many products I use on the daily that have, like, animal byproducts in it. So there was actually one day when I was brushing my teeth before going to bed and I just happened to have a thought going, I wonder what's in my toothpaste. And then I thought, no, like, there's no way there'd be animal products in a toothpaste. That's insane. But I just checked the ingredients on my toothpaste anyway. And, like, the second ingredient was an animal byproduct. And it just blew my mind. I had my vitamins the other day. And before I could even put it in my mouth, I thought, let me check the ingredients. And, again, the second product was an animal byproduct. And to me, that's crazy because... <laughs> Surely, it's 2018, surely we know of other ways and other ingredients that we can put into toothpaste and multivitamins. So when I was doing all of my research on my makeup products, being someone who really likes makeup and wears makeup a, a bit, I... Put all, I did a bunch of research and I made a table of products that were vegan, products that weren't vegan, and products that I still wasn't sure because there are some things that kind of conflict and it's a bit confusing. So basically I made a little basket and I went through all my products and I put all the things that weren't vegan in the basket and for the whole week I did not use any of the products that were in that basket. So the next point I have written on my bit of paper is what now and that's a great question thank you for asking what now so having one week of trying to go vegan I feel that it's something that I should have done sooner I definitely think that the hardest bit for me now because I'm gonna be trying my hardest to stick to it I think the hardest bit for me now is going to be sticking to it. I know a lot of people that like transit or I have watched a lot of people that transition to being like plant based or vegan or whatever a lot later. So if you know, a lot of people probably think this is an excuse. But I lived nineteen years of my life believing that I wasn't eating enough meat because I didn't really like meat. And I think that's gonna be hard. I think so I'm 100% now vegetarian. Like, I'm not touching meat ever again. The dairy and stuff, as much as I don't want to touch it, I think it's going to be a difficult bit just because, like, for me, I've always eaten it. Whereas meat, I've always kind of had that disconnection with already. But I am going to still try my hardest. I'm just saying that, like, there might be the occasional slip up where I either didn't realise it was even in it because I'm just not used to thinking about the dairy part of it or there might be the occasional slip up as I just can't get away from it because I don't always have control of what I'm eating. Yeah, so I hope that you like my video and subscribe to my channel to watch some more of my videos. Next week I'll be uploading um, another vlog so stay tuned for that. And yeah, as always, comment anything you want in the comment section, whether it's a question, whether it's feedback, whether it's anything, because I respond and reply to all my comments. I love when people comment on my videos. Like, I would prefer people commenting on my videos than liking my videos, because comments just make it feel more personal, you know? You know? So yeah, thank you so much for watching again. I'm sorry if this was a lot of talking in one video, and I'm sorry if any of my subscribers are watching this and they're like, mm, don't really like that, but it was interesting. Like, I still have nothing against meat eaters. Like, a week and a bit ago, I was eating meat, so I completely understand it. I was literally brought up that way. This is just my choice. And I like it. So, yeah. I hope you stick around and watch some more of my videos. And if you do, then I'll see you then. Bye!